You want me to tell them what happened to you? Are you are you all better now? Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's because of the medicine we gave you. I love you too, baby. <sighs> Y'all, tonight was super intense. Man, I don't even know where to start because I did not expect tonight to go how it even went. <sighs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Tonight was super unexpected and out of the blue. Kira's saying hi. It seems like she's feeling better now. Mm, my name is, is Kira. Your name is Kira. Yes. yes. This is mommy. This is daddy. <laughs> hi guys. Uh, Kira is such a daddy, trooper. Daddy, <laughs> I'm feeling better. Yeah, now you're feeling better. About five minutes ago, you were a hot mess. Yes. Mom, my itchy is gone. Yes, she said her itchy is gone. I think it's not the bad. So the reason why she's saying her itchy is gone, so I'll give you guys a quick story. Pretty much, Kira had a little bit of a cough yesterday. So I bought some elderberry from... Whole Foods about two or three weeks ago just to have it on hand. Today we have a buddy in the room. <laughs> okay, can mommy talk for a few minutes, please? Thank okay. you. Okay, thanks. So I bought some elderberry syrup from Whole Foods maybe about three weeks ago just in case if the kids get sick, it's just a good immune booster. So I heard Kiki coughing yesterday, so I thought, okay, great, I have the elderberry. Let me just give it to her and just hope that, like, you know, it kind of builds her back up to where she needs to be. So I gave her some yesterday, and last night she was itching, but not like tonight. So today I gave it to her again, a little bit before bedtime, just to kind of keep it in her system. I started taking out her hair, and then she fell asleep. So after an, about an hour or so, like I seen her kind of tossing and turning and she was scratching and I noticed some hives on her neck. So I was like, babe, did you see these hives on her neck? And he's like, no, I didn't see it earlier. So I just kind of brushed it off. She woke up out of her sleep, scratching like crazy, scratching her chest, scratching her stomach, scratching her, her ribs, her back, her legs. So I'm like, okay, why is she scratching this much? At first I just thought it was because I was loosing her hair. Maybe she's just trying to toss and turn. No, she woke up and as time went on, it just started getting worse and worse. She went from just scratching to getting up and kind of like, she was kind of like throwing herself around, right babe? She was kind of like, yeah, she, she didn't know how to handle it, and then it ended up being hives everywhere. Hives Once everywhere. Because we, we didn't really notice because we didn't. She had pajamas that had long sleeves and yeah. long legs, and it definitely wasn't the pajamas because she'd been worn those ones before. So we looked under her pajamas, and there's hives everywhere. There were hives all over her neck, her chest, her ribs, her legs. So yeah, the first thing I thought was take these pajamas off. Let me just take them off. I don't know if it's the detergent. I don't know. I'm just trying to rule out everything. Then I started thinking it's the new couch. <laughs> She's just like, what if it's the couch? I'm like, our new couch? Like, no, it can't be. Like, And then I was like, okay, hey, Callie has the most sensitive skin in the house by far. Callie was just laying on the couch all day. We've been had the couch for like almost a week. Callie's fine. So I'm like, no, it can't be the couch. We had the couch since like last week. So it's not the couch. So it's not the couch. So I'm like, okay, babe, I gave her the elderberry syrup. Maybe check it out. I'm like, it's supposed to be something natural, something immune building and healthy. So I don't know, babe, this is the only thing that I can recall that I gave her. Anything that she's eaten, she's eaten before. So we're just ruling out everything. So Trey goes ahead and Googles the first two ingredients and sure enough the first ingredient in the elderberry syrup has something that could irritate your skin so i think after i gave it to her maybe three hours ago as time went on and her body started digesting it her body started to react so yesterday her body was kind of like mm, i don't really like this but you know whatever and today i'm not gonna lie i gave her a little bit more i think i didn't give her enough yesterday that's just how i felt i felt like 
I gave it to her, but she was still coughing in the night. So I was like, okay, maybe I didn't give her enough. So I gave her one and a half. Cause they said 20 drops, but like I can't really count the drops when it comes out. So anyway, she started freaking out. I found some children's Benadryl. I broke the pill in half, but then she wouldn't take the pill. <laughs> So babe, in case, cause yo, like we had never heard of this thing, this ingredient. It's called mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N. So after I searched it and I seen like, okay, it's common that it causes irritation on the skin. We're like, what the heck, why is it in here? But it also has a lot of benefits. Like obviously it doesn't do that to everyone. Overall, it helps the body expel excess mucus. That's like the main reason people use it. So it makes sense. You were trying to give it to her to prevent her from coughing because she had a little cough. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense why they put it in that syrup, but some people get like really bad skin irritation from it. You know what's crazy, crazy too? Yeah. I noticed that her eyes um, had like little um, eye mucus. She had some in her eyes when I was bathing her. I'm like, what's that in your eye? And I was washing her face and there's even some stuck in her eyelashes, but that came out, I guess, from that reaction. I don't know, she didn't have it all day. After Trey Googled that, um, I found some children's Benadryl. I gave her half a pill, but then she wouldn't take the pill. She kept spitting it out and she was crying and gagging. Like Kira is very sensitive to things that she doesn't like. If she doesn't like how something smells or tastes, she'll go cat, cat, like. <laughs> Yo, literally, I feel like we can actually laugh now that she's better. Now that she's better, no, facts. Like, we were so, guys, like, we were so worried. I I swear to God, when she was bathing, so we put her in the bath to try to help her. I almost started crying, you guys. Like, I don't cry easily. Uh, me too. I almost started crying, because seeing your, obviously, she's not like a baby baby anymore, but she's like still our baby. Mm -hmm. When your baby's in pain, like, I, I was getting teary-eyed. I was like, I couldn't handle her being in pain. Mm -hmm. But um, what were we saying? Yeah. Gave it the Benadryl. Yeah. Finally, she took it. We had to encourage her to put it in her mouth and then drink something after to kind of get rid of the taste. That took about five tries. The first time, I think she got half of a half, so only a quarter. And then the second time, I was trying to like smush it in my fingers and then give it to her. She spit out it again. Anyway, we finally got her to take what I think is about half. And then Trey was like, okay, let's get her in the bath. Let's just like try to like cool down her skin somehow. I had some, a soap that's already for like dry skin and kind of like soothing. So we put that in the bath. And she was kind of still crying in the bath, but I think after a while, once we took her out, I think a combination of the bath plus the Benadryl kind of helped her. Cause I was getting concerned, honestly, her face started getting itchy. I have allergies as you guys know. So I know I know the Benadryl was gonna help her eventually calm down, but I didn't think it would be drowsy enough for her to go to sleep, but. We gave her like a half of a half of a half like, <laughs> of a kid's dose. We don't, yeah, and, and it's a kid's so dose. So she had like, the tiniest little bit. Yeah, exactly. Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, mama. How are you feeling now? Good. You feel really, really good now? Yeah. Can I just make sure your itchy is gone? Oh, wow. She's all better. Oh, look, there's a little bit left. Not much, but mommy's the family Doctor. nurse from the past life. Yeah, there's a little bit still right here. It's true. It, it, my scratch is gone. Your scratch is gone? Yeah. I'm so happy it's gone. You feel much better now? Yes. Ah, I'm so happy that it worked because I was like, do we have to go to the hospital right now? That's honestly how I felt. On top of that, you guys, we have a photo shoot tomorrow. So I was like, I'm probably gonna have to cancel this thing. I don't even care if we go or not. I just wanted to make sure that she's good because she was getting hives around her eyes, her eyes, her cheeks. It was honestly spreading so fast we were getting concerned. But now that it's going away, I guess we'll just keep an eye on her and see how she feels. I feel no way to cancel it, but if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, then at least we're making sure that our, our baby is healthy over anything. But it seems like the Benadryl is doing its job right now, so we should let her get some rest because it's late. It's like, midnight. it's almost midnight. Is it midnight already? It's like 10 minutes too. Yeah, like honestly, you guys, when that whole thing was happening, I was like running back and forth between our bathroom and the living room, but I'm so happy that it's calmed down. I didn't think the hives would be gone that fast, babe. Well, we, we pretty much like covered all possible like remedies that we could. Like 
took off all her clothes, gave her internal medicine that she swallowed, put her in the bath, soothed her skin, put lotion on. That was stressful as heck, but I think we did a good job as parents. Right? We did everything. Yeah, that's oh, true. Man, yeah. And also, I, I, was, I had the thought in my mind about it possibly being like an anaphylactic allergy, but then I was like, no, I gave her this a long time ago, so why would it do that now? Sometimes it takes a long time for your body to fully to digest something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Alright you guys, we're gonna let her get some sleep. Um, we'll give you guys an update in the morning. With or without the photo shoot, it's already a busy day. We'll see how she is in the morning and then I guess we'll just take the rest of the day from there. Say goodnight. Mm -hmm.